Hi, and thank you for joining me for another edition of Rabbi Stein's PPE. This week it's not about the Parsha, instead it's about, you know it, it's all about Pesach. And as we're getting ready to clean, to cook, to prepare ourselves for the Seder, one of the most monumental evenings of the entire year, we're faced with a very, very big dilemma. And the dilemma or the question that I want to ask is, why do we eat matzah? What's the reason? Rabban Gamliel says there's three things you must discuss at the Pesach Seder, otherwise you've not fulfilled your obligation. Pesach, matzah, and maror. He says, matzah al shuma. Why do we have matzah? Because the answer, he says, not enough time for the bread to rise and the Jews were leaving Egypt. That's the famous answer. That's the answer we all know. That's the answer that's on the tip of our tongues every time we're asked the question, why do we eat matzah? But you see, there's a blaring contradiction. There's a blaring kasha, a bamba kasha, as they used to say in yeshiva. What's the kasha? What's the question? Before we even begin the Pesach Seder, getting into the details of Magid, we raise the matzah and we sing a song. Halachma, halachma, an yadi achalu, achalu av hatara. This is the bread, the bread of affliction, the poor man's bread, the slave bread, that our forefathers, our ancestors ate when they were slaves in Egypt. So if that's the case, if our forefathers ate matzah when they were slaves, then they've been eating matzah for a long time. Close to 210 years even, I'd say. I'd say. So for sure, they were eating matzah for so much longer, where is this reason of not enough time for the bread to rise come in? So how do we answer this question? So the answer is as follows. You see, the Egyptians had to feed the Jewish slaves, millions of slaves, cheap, economical, and something that will satiate them for long periods of time. That's matzah. And when the time came to leave Egypt, makat becharot, makat becharot happened at midnight, the Jewish people left the next morning. Ample time to bake bread. Yet, we were so busy preparing ourselves mentally for the Geula. We couldn't think, what are we going to eat? Hashem has just delivered the 10th plague. Why am I going to think about food right now? Let me think about my Amunah. Let me think of my Bitachar, my faith, my determination, my connection to Hashem. Not worry about food. Hashem will provide. So they grabbed whatever they had in the pantry, which of course was matzah. And so we sit down at the Seder night, and we're about to eat the matzah. Why do we eat matzah now? We were slaves, and this was the food that we ate as slaves. But now we are free. We've transformed this poor man's bread, this slave bread, to the bread of our freedom, to the bread, the lechem of emunah, the lechem of faith and our connection to Kosh Baruch Hu. I want to wish you all a Pesach, Sameach, Kasher V'Sameach, and Gidyantiv, all the amazing things that the Seder has in store for all of us, and to fulfill the mitzvah as it says, V'Ganata Levincha B'Yom Ahu. You shall teach it to them on that day. Make it engaging. Make it fun. Make it exciting. Make the kids want more. Shabbat Shalom. Chag Sameach.